Hello, my name is Kayvon Shokat, and I'm a professor at the University of California, San Francisco, and an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. I'm going to tell you about a breakthrough we've made in the treatment of lung cancer. Cancer is a genetic disease which is caused by random mutations followed by selection for uncontrolled growth. When we can find a genetic mutation which causes cancer, we can design a targeted drug to inhibit its function and cut off the growth signal to the cancer cell. The promise of targeted drugs is that they are more effective than traditional chemotherapy and less toxic, allowing patients to live longer, healthier lives. The most frequently occurring single mutation in cancer is to a gene called KRAS. This mutation was first discovered in 1983 and set off a huge race to discover a drug to block its pro-cancer function. The race was a huge disappointment because after 30 years of efforts by pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, and university laboratories, no one had even crossed the starting line. The problem was that the protein itself did not have any pockets for drugs to bind to. As you can see in this video, it is a ball-shaped protein, which people have called undruggable because of the failure of the first 30 years of efforts. My research team decided that the KRAS wall would have to come down, otherwise the 20% of cancer patients around the world with KRAS mutations would not have drugs to treat their cancer. Our insight was to recognize that mutations to KRAS come in different forms, and that one of the forms, caused by cigarette smoking, produces a particular mutation at position 12 of the amino acid sequence, converting a glycine amino acid to a cysteine amino acid. The opportunity we exploited was to use a special kind of chemical bond, a covalent bond, to the cancer-causing cysteine in KRAS, which helps to overcome the lack of good drug binding pockets on the protein. We applied some new drug screening approaches pioneered by my colleagues at the University of California until we discovered the first drug we called IRAS-148 in 2013. This drug got us past the starting line because it revealed a previously invisible pocket and provided a, po a path forward for drug optimization. This culminated earlier this year in the approval of a drug to treat lung cancer patients with KRAS G12C mutant tumors. There is much work to be done to find better and better drugs to help KRAS mutant patients. We are entering a new era of targeted cancer therapy. Now it is not a matter of if we can treat KRAS mutants, but when these drugs will enter clinical trials. We hope to see many new breakthroughs for patients with KRAS mutant tumors, such as pancreatic cancer, in the next one or two years.